What's up everybody, hello world, wherever you are, I don't know where you are, but today you're here with me and I'm about to break down for you the B-Boy wildcards for this year's Red Bull BC1 World Final in Paris, France. When I look at the list of the B-Boy wildcards for this year's World Final, I can't help but think of the word eclectic. There's so many different styles. There's young guys, there's seasoned vets, there's curveballs, there's returning champs. The list goes on. There's a high level and I'm super excited to get into it. Let's go. There's two names that stand out. One is B-Boy Aleph. Guys like Aleph are just rare to come by. Aleph is a true storyteller, true characters, really listening to the music in a special way. He's got really nice details as well. It's just nice to see an artist on the floor. Another storyteller that I see on this list is a B-Boy named X-Frame. Check him out. Super swift as well, but I love this little detail. <laughs> Always on B. Love it. Love it. I think this year's lineup is very strong. High level and high energy. I'm looking forward to this game. See you. Alright, the next dancers I want to talk about are the seasoned vets. Possibly even, I don't know if I want to use the word, but favorites? I didn't say so. He's been around forever. He's your favorite B-boy's favorite B-boy, favorite B-boy. You know who I'm talking about. It's B-boy Hong Ten. Comes in, double off the hands up to his head. Whoop. I love that move. <laughs> Hong Ten, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Okay, I want to battle against the free region at the final. Final. <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy. Now, another guy who I think is a favorite for this year's contest. I'm talking about Phil Wizard. It's great to see a guy like Phil who has a lot of creative movement. Always having fun too. It's uh, hard to beat people that have fun. Interesting cadence, interesting patterns, and hungry, you know, that attack. It would be amazing for me, and I envision battling Hong Ten in the finals because he's someone that I've looked up to for a very long time. He's a very good friend of mine, and we've actually never battled in a one-on-one. -on -one. This next group of dancers is the curveballs. You just don't know what you're gonna get. These are the guys that they can blow it up and beat your favorite dancer. The first one I wanna talk about is B-Boy Issen. He's extremely dangerous, incredible speed, incredible dynamics, crazy level changes. He gets speed out of anywhere. Woo! Does three 2000s from footwork. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> I guarantee you, whoever gets Eason first round, second round, third round, you are you're scared. You're a little scared. My man blows it up. The next curveball I want to talk about is my man B-Boy Vigor. Insane speed, element of surprise, the ability to switch it up. I've seen him do it a million times. He's out from the moment he starts moving. It's a blur. Energy! Oh! oh man, that boy's on fire! Such an interesting cadence to his dance. Man, bring the heat, baby, huh? oh! <laughs> He's gonna be another one hard to beat. Him versus Eason would be crazy. Alright, B-boy Castrito. This guy. <laughs> Talk about strong. He probably is the strongest guy on the stage. Out of all the wild cards that I would not challenge like a pull-up contest with, it would be Kestrita. Oh, no big deal. Just flare stop in the middle of the air, go the other way, one and a half the other way. <laughs> That's just a sample of how strong my guy is. We'll see ya, we'll see ya. This next dancer I wanna talk about is my man. See? of a sleeper like he's a silent killer he's very well rounded very high level form which is important it's his first time on the world stage but you never know real nice flow to his dance sick transitions Surprise, those are all super unique transitions probably hit you with some some ground power right here yep magnets it's good to see him mixing in just traditional power guys like this will silently kill another kind of silent killer takes his time nothing too crazy as far as energy not like rushing or going too fast. These next three dancers, I feel like kind of have a similar energy about them. They're explosive, they're always on attack, energy is high, they move quickly, and the guys I'm talking about are Danny Dan, Kid Karam, and Jeff Rowe. First, I wanna mention Danny Dan. He's been making some noise over the last couple years, and to me, it's gonna be nice to see him on this stage, very dynamic, he blows it up, straight to business. One and a half, swoop, wham, boom, solid freezes, nice speed, that's how you do it. 
Kid Karam also has some experience in the Rebel BC-1. Also, kind of similar kind of vein as Danny Dan as far as the movements and the groups of movements. So I just think it'd be nice. And am I wrong? Am I right? Let me know. So there's nobody that I don't want to battle. I'm happy to battle anybody, anytime, anywhere, especially on the BC-1 stage, because that's what dreams are made of. Last, but definitely not least, you got B-Boy Jeff Rowe. Also, just hungry. You cannot deny hunger on the world stage. This guy works very hard, super dynamic style. I love that it's footwork based. He's got a very footwork based style, which is nice to see on a stage like this. I also think Jeff Rowe would be super interesting to watch against Danny Dan or Kid Karam or actually any of these guys. Battle them all. Those are the B-Boy wild cards for this year's Red Bull BC1 World Finals in Paris. Tune in to the Red Bull BC1 World Final in Paris, October 21st.